After three days in Vancouver, we spent and explored the Vancouver itself. Now we're heading to Victoria, Nanaimo, and Tofino. So we're waiting for the ferry at 8 o'clock in the morning. So we got another 30 minutes wait or so. It looks pretty cloudy, but it's supposed to get better apparently. It looks like the ferry is coming in there. I can see it. So pretty soon we should be able to load it. Family on the ferry to Vancouver Island. Yeah. The one family member is running around. <laughs> I'm a horse. Check out. First stop, Butchard Gardens. Familia to view the gardens. And now we have a couple of hours to kill here before we go to actual Victoria. And there's the Polish flag right on top. Oh, there's gonna be butterflies, bees there's the bee hey guys and welcome to the channel scuba travel and adventure our first stop on the island after we left BC Ferry was Butchard Gardens these world-renowned gardens have impressed Victoria visitors since 1904 resting on a 55 acres about 15 miles north of the inner harbor. Butchard Gardens were carefully constructed by Jane Bouchard on her husband's former limestone quarry. Today more than 1 million people stop by each year to meander along the property's flower lines path, which contain more than 900 varieties. Visit on a summer evening to see the gardens illuminated by colored lights and to enjoy some musical entertainment. If you are planning summer visit and want to avoid the crowds, heed the advice of the garden staff and stop by before 10.30 a.m. or after 3.30 p.m. Travelers describe the gardens as incredibly beautiful with awesome views and recommend that you bring the camera. They also advise setting aside several hours to make the most of the experience. If you need a break retreat to one of these eateries located on site. There is also a carousel and a boat tours available on site.
just finished exploring Butchard Gardens. Now we are in downtown Victoria, in front of Parliament, and we're gonna scope out the shore and maybe have something to eat here. The Parliament is just behind me. So capital city of British Columbia, Parliament building located in Victoria. After spending around three hours at Butchard Gardens, the gorgeous location, we have visited Victoria, parked our car and explored the Parliament grounds. From there, we took a walk by the marina and we went to visit Miniature World Museum. One of the most popular tourist attractions in downtown Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Your visit will be memorable experience for years to come you'll find a lasting desire to return. The little people's wonderful world of smallness. Walk down its road, step into the storybooks of fact, fiction and fantasy. To those found memories of yesteryear, those childhood dreams and history greatest moments. After leaving Victoria, our next stop was Cathedral Grove Forest Trail located just off the main highway. Cathedral Grove Macmillan Provincial Park is British Columbia Provincial Park preserving a section of lush old growth forest unique to Vancouver Island. The park's name will make perfect sense when you see sunlight filtering through the soaring 80 meter high canopy. Plan to spend a few hours wandering Cathedral Grove trail system and glazing up to 800-year-old giant Douglas fir, Grand Fir's western hemlocks, and western red cedar trees. Cathedral Grove will give you a sense of that Vancouver Island and the West Coast looked like before the arrival of European settlers. Do it. Mm. 
Our next stop along the route to Tofino was Wally Creek. You have to stop by the Wally Creek on the way to Tofino. Walking on the rocks is adventure by itself. The sound of water flow and fall against the rocks is soothing to your ears. Please be careful when you are on the creek. It is very easy to be a part of a disaster with one wrong step. Tofino was the last stop on the island before heading back to the ferry in Nonaimo. Tofino is a small district on Vancouver Island of Canada's west coast. It sprawls on a peninsula within Coyocot Sound, characterized by wild natural scenery, including lakes, inlets, and ancient rainforests. Sandy beaches with year-round surfing facilities include Cox Bay, Chesterman Beach, popular Long Beach, part of Pacific Rim National Park Reserve. The relaxed town of Tofino sits on a peninsula tip.
Argentina. The furthest point from Canada pretty much. Well, I guess you want to go towards Campbell River and Port Hardy. This is as far as we can get. And Natalie is taking a dip in the Pacific Ocean. It's warm! Yeah, right. It's warm, all right. I know how warm it is because I was here last time. So we're just like minutes away from the field now. Road construction and uh, road blastings. So there's a lot of leads. Uh, so we only did about 300 kilometers, but. Smell your hand! Smell it! Seven thirty in the morning, we have arrived in Nanaimo and waiting for another ferry terminal. After we left Tofino, we couldn't find any places to sleep, no campgrounds, uh, no motels available, everything no vacancy. So we ended up sleeping on the side of the road on the rest area. And uh, this morning, just uh, outside of uh, Port, Port Alberni, uh, that was the rest area, and uh, we headed uh, out this morning too. Nanaimo and there we are first thing in the morning probably a second ferry and we'll be packing up for uh, Horseshoe Bay it is a bit breezy but it's gonna be another it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day the big tracks, the tank
after arriving back on the mainland, we have stopped at C2 Sky Gondola on the way to Whistler. It was great, but a bit, bit pricey experience. The C2 Sky Gondola is your doorway to year-round outdoor adventure, including interpretive walks, panoramic views, viewing platforms, and 9,000 square foot Summit Lodge with sit-down dining and menu that features fresh local ingredients. Discover adventure by nature. The 10 minute ride to the top takes you 885 meters above sea level where sweeping of views and the house sound and the coastal mountains will welcome you from every direction. At the top, you'll find three main viewing platform. The southwestern facing 5,000 square foot Summit Lodge viewing deck, the dramatic chief overlook viewing platform that jets out to overlook climbers on the backside of the chief and the windsurfing kiteboarding action at the spit. So we are at uh, Sea to Sky Gondola, top of the mountains. There's Mishka exploring the world. The spirit viewing platform, which includes interpretive information on the surrounding landscapes and its significance of Squamish, First Nation people. In the winter, the Sea to Sky Gondola becomes a winter wonderland with access to over 3,000 acres of backcountry terrain and winter activities for every age and ability, including front and backcountry skiing, hiking, snowshoeing, and tubing, all topped off with pre April's adventures at the Summit Lodge. Get in, get in. After visiting Squamish Sea to Sky Gondola, we supposed to stop in Whistler. Unfortunately, everyone was too tired and we were running short on time as we had to start heading back to Alberta. On the way back, we have pulled over in Cache Creek to stretch out. Then we spent the night camping in a tent, I had a breakfast at AW and the campsite we stayed as was just a recreational site very quiet location on the lake thank you for watching and if you like the video please share it and subscribe and see you in the next video
So we are just heading down Cash Creek towards Lillooet right now from Whistler. So we're just heading back from Cash Creek towards Kamloops. Stopped in the desert area. Had a good breakfast at AW. Even Aga liked it, which is good. Wait, Daddy, do they rattle? I don't know. I've never seen one. Look at those trees. Yeah. Natalie is climbing the desert abundant rocks. She had two wraps for breakfast, so she's got a lot of energy to go. The mountain you're trying to climb. Think of her before in a movie line. We can ride our own and in the stars. You can do it. Can I try? 